Hi everyone, some people, when they start solving this math problem, they'll subtract or start with eight minus eight, which is zero. And then they'll bring down the time symbol down and then eight minus eight is zero. And so the answer will be zero or they'll do this. Um, eight minus eight is zero. They'll bring down the times symbol down, the eight down, the subtraction symbol down, and the eight down. And zero times eight is zero. Minus eight is negative eight. So the answer must be negative eight or zero. And both answers are wrong. Let me show you how to solve this math problem correctly. So the first thing they needed to do was to look at PANDAS. And PANDAS, again, is just an acronym to help us remember the order of operations. And when you're solving a math problem with different operations like this one, you need to use PANDAS, which is the order of operations. And you are reading the math problem from left to right according to the levels in PANDAS. So multiplication will go first, right? Because we're Solving the math problem from left to right, subtraction is in the lowest level, and multiplication is above the lowest level, which is the MD, multiplication and division. So multiplication is in our problem, not division, multiplication. So 8 times 8 will go first. So what's 8 times 8? 64. And then bring down the subtraction symbol down, the 8 down, the other su su subtraction symbol down and the eight down. Now we have eight minus 64 minus eight. And I know some of you can do this in your head and give me the answer right away. But to make the math easy, uh, not just easy, but fun, let's think about a number line. If you start, I'm not gonna draw a number line, that'll be too many numbers. If we start in on the number line with eight, positive eight, minus 64, that is telling me, this is telling me that I am going back 64 units starting at eight on the number line, and you'll land somewhere when you count back 64 units to the left. But I know the answer is gonna be a negative because this number is smaller and this number is bigger. So let's just subtract 64 minus eight, so we know the answer is going to be negative. So I wrote the negative symbol there. So uh, four minus eight, we can't. So we need to borrow from the six. So the six will be five. This will be 14. So 14 minus eight is six, right? And then bring down the five down. And now we have negative 56. So if we drew the number line starting at eight and go back 64 units to the left, we will land at negative 56. Now we just have to subtract negative 56 minus eight. And let's, let's use that table I showed you all before, the keep chain change rule. When you are subtracting integers, the eight and the negative 56, is, they both are integers. So it's keep, so we'll keep the first part, negative 56, change the subtraction to addition, and then lastly, we'll um, not just flip, but uh, write the opposite of eight, so it'll be negative eight. And when you're adding two integers, or two numbers with the same sign. So same sign, you add them both and keep the same sign. So what is 56 plus eight? So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And so five plus one, six. And we know it's a negative because we said same signs, add them both and keep the same sign, so it's negative. So your answer is negative 64. And there you go.
Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe if you have not. Help me reach 100,000 subscribers. Thank you for watching.